Okay, we are going to continue talking about clocks and how to tell time. Um, I want to first show you a strategy that um, your child may need to use for a while before they get real used to telling time on a clock with five minute intervals. Um, if your child has a clock um, on paper or even if he just has um, some sort of other clock that he can lay on a piece of paper, you may want to have your child um, number put count by fives and number each number of the clock to help them with time to five minute intervals. And they know to start with number one and at number one they would put a five because it's five minutes. At two, ten, three, we're going to put fifteen and keep going, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, 55, 60. And we're also going to put the, the zero because it also um, indicates that time is beginning. Then they use the same strategy that we they used when they learned to tell time to the half hour and the, and the hour. We're always going to start again. We're going to start with this hour hand. And again, um, we know that the word hour is shorter than the word minute. So they know that the hour hand is the shorter hand. And again, we see that this hour hand is past the three. So we're going to record the hour, and the hour is three. Go ahead and put our colon. And then we're going to go to the minute hand. And if I can, I'll just write minute here. Your child does not have to, but just, just to uh, d differentiate. You notice the word minute is longer. So it is the longer hand. We see the minute hand is pointing to the seven, and your child knows then to go back and begin counting by ones, counting by five, starting with one. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And now we will see that the time on this clock is 335. And that just helps them out to see that, that by that seven was 35. And that is a strategy they can use when they have a clock that's written on paper. Um, let's look at um, another one. Let's look at another page here. I've got a couple of more clocks with some things that I want them to look at. Again, we're doing time to five minute intervals. Um, again, here we go again. We're going to start, we're going to do this one. We're always going to start with that hour hand. Here's the hour hand. Remember, our, our hour hand is never between something. It is traveling in, in number sequence. It is just past the three, so now we know that it is going on to the four, so it's past the three. So our hour is three o'clock. Then we're going to count. We see that our minute hand is pointing to the five. We know we're going five minute intervals, starting back at one. So we'll say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So the time on this clock is 3.25. Now, sometimes um, when we get into telling time and we have a lot of minutes on our clock, then we're going to find that this hour hand can give us a little bit of trouble. And so this hour hand on this, on this second clock looks like it is very, very, very close to, to the almost being on the eight. But I've taught the kids when there are a lot of minutes, and I'm talking about minutes on this side of the clock, if the minute hand is somewhere over in this area, that's a lot of minutes. Therefore, that means that hour hand is way past a number. So we can see that this hour hand is way past the seven. And you might even hear your child say way past the seven or way, way, way past the seven. Then again, we're ready to, to go and we will count that minute hand. This time that minute hand is pointing at the 10. We're going to go back to the one, counting by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And so the time on this clock is 7.50. That's what we're practicing right now. In the next day or two, we're going to take this time even down to the, to cl to the closer minute. So we, this is time to five minute intervals. We, um, then we will be going from five minute intervals and we're going to be going 
to one minute interval. So you're going to see that your child will be able to tell time to one minute intervals. And let's look at that real quickly. Same strategy. We're going to always start with that hour hand. We see that this hour hand is past the 12. Remember, it's always on something or past it. This time our strategy is a little different. We're still going to use the counting by fives, and it might be that your child needs to go back and use the technique where they put those five-minute intervals by these for right now to just help them when they're, when they're just learning. So we're going to go ahead and put those on here. And now we're going to look at that minute hand. And we see them, we're going to count, we're going to start counting by fives. And we're going, when we get to the five, when we get to the five where we cannot go anymore, we will stop there. And this is what we'll do. So we're going to go five, 10, 15, 20. Now I can't go to the 25, it's not there yet. But now I can begin counting by ones. And these little tick marks in between are those one minute intervals. So we're going to begin counting by one. I'm at 20, 21, 22, 23. So I can see that this clock tells us that it is 12, 23. 20, 21, 22, 23, pointing right to that minute hand. Again, it tends to give us a little bit more problems with that hour hand when there are a lot of minutes on the clock. So let's do one of those very quickly. Start with this hour hand. We see it is way past the five. It hadn't quite gotten to the six yet. So it's the fifth hour. Um, if your child needs to, they can again um, not, uh, count by fives on the five minute intervals and put those. If your child does not need them, if they are efficient in counting by them, then your child has my permission to not use that strategy. But anything that will help us while we're learning, we want to use those strategies. So then again, now I'm going to look at that minute hand. I see that minute hand is right here. I'm not going to go past the nine with, by counting by fives. So here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, going to go those tick marks, one more, 46, and 47. So the time on this clock shows 547. I think if you take the time to show your child this, they'll get a jump start on what we're fixing to do in class, and they'll be ready to rock and roll and be do a really good job at telling time. Thank you so, so much for checking out what's going on in our classroom.